Hello there, everybody, or anybody, or the one person who might watch this. Uh, seasoned gamer here playing Capture the Flag on Afghan. Uh, my perks are Marathon Pro, Cold Blooded Pro, and Ninja Pro, and those are the perks that I y usually go with on uh, Capture the Flag uh, or Search and Destroy. I like to play the silent type on those game types. Um, this is a game type I played on Call of Duty 4. Uh, I really started picking it up at uh, World of War and enjoyed it a lot. Um, one of my favorite uh, games to play at, on World at War was to get the flag and uh, use the uh, silent class in uh, World at War, which was, um, what was that called, uh, camouflage? Yeah, it was it was a uh, UAV uh, UAV jammer type thing. Um, so I I would take the flag and I'd go run off and hide, and they would never find me, and which was a good tactic if we were winning. Unfortunately, you can't do that anymore. And actually, watching the game back right here, uh, I realized I was trapped, and I uh, pretty knew I was screwed. So uh, I was just gonna try to take out as many guys as I could. But I knew I was going to die there. I shouldn't have gone <laughs> down there. Uh, anyway, um, when I play Capture the Flag or any type of the objective games, and wow, that's kind of cool, uh, I always go for the objective. Now I say always. Okay, that's not true. I go for the objective 90% of the time. And in Capture the Flag, I'm always going for the enemy flag. Um, of course, I have a mini Uzi here with a silencer, so... Uh, it's not very good defending our flag with this, but um, I always go for the flag and capture the flag, so that guy's got a funky laugh. Anyway, um, here's my first attempt at capturing the flag, and of course the enemy has stolen ours, so kind of stuck here. And like I said, in World at War, you could hide with the flag if you had uh, the camouflage perk on and they would never be able to find you but in Modern Warfare 2 your flag is just right there on the screen for everybody to see so you're kinda screwed unless you have teammates there to watch you and right now I'm starting some poppies just waiting for our flag to come back and any second now oh, of course the enemy puts the UAV on makes it even easier for them to find me um, but just running around here in the poppies waiting oh and there they go they drop our flag so I'm gonna go and where's our flag mm, yeah. okay enemy still got it so yeah that's what I gotta wonder oh and now it's back and I turn around and I get stuck which is a common occurrence for me there's my first capture and usually I get about at least half the capture flag captures for our team in the game unless our whole team makes rush for the flag um, in world at war I often would get the fewest kills but have the most points just based on the amount of flag captures and my favorite map was uh, mm, I'm not even sure I have to get back to you on that anyway see that guy coming and I get him and I know another guy's coming and Ninja Pro 6 nice and I fail that was miserable oh that's embarrassing anyway um, I have uh, actually have a bad run to death at the end which is quite embarrassing and ends up getting me pink and I know, what the hell I just spawned right in front of that guy and well, that just sucks. Anyway, uh, sort of off topic here. I'm keeping a track on the uh, Duke Baylor game, which is going on right now. And uh, I really need Baylor to win to rescue my bracket. Uh, I had Kansas and Syracuse, and I screwed myself on that side. But I did pick West Virginia, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed that uh, Baylor could pull it out. But they can't seem to be. They can't seem to rebound the ball. I don't know what's going on with them. Of course, Duke can't shoot the ball, so 
And here we go, and I'm going to capture another flag, and come on, and no. That's what I'm thinking. Anyway, let me start the second half, and I am running. This is my favorite little path here, and I throw random sticky, and I throw that, thinking that I'm going to stun somebody rushing this way, but I forgot I have a smoke grenade, which I like to throw on the opponent's flag before I pick it up. And uh, actually in World at War, uh, what I like to do is have a bouncing Betty and sort of place them in my escape route. And when the other team would chase me, they would not be expecting the uh, bouncing Betty. So I used to get a fair amount of kills with those. Here we go. I pick up a sniper rifle and I am literally the worst sniper in the world. Um, which is strange because, well, no, it's not strange because Battlefront's not a real game. Well, okay, Battlefront's a real game. But on Battlefront, I used to love playing with the uh, sniper, rif sniper rifle. I don't know if anybody remembers playing that game, uh, but that is definitely, uh, I don't know. I'm sure a Star Wars first-person shooter slash multiplayer would be a big hit, but only if they did it right. Um, so, I guess I've heard, and, oh, here we go, about to capture another flag, ooh, double spray, and I uh, get it, and I'm just going to camp here, and screw you, and you too, and no, I run out of bullets. Oh, well, um, so yeah, Battlefront, I used to enjoy that game, and they could really use Battlefront 3 to come out with a little bit of multiplayer action. Don't know if it will replace any of the games that are uh, out there now, but I'd give it a shot. Hopefully they wouldn't screw that up. But here we go. I am going back to... Okay, somebody else has taken the flag. So I'm just going to wait here and wait for him to capture the flag while our AC-130 AC takes out all the other team and oh there's a guy over there do I notice him and I no I ran out of ammo crap yeah many use he's not gonna get him so oh there's the flag and here we go see if I can dodge people and oh what are you doing there smack and come on yeah I'm trying uh, yep our whole team's over here so I am doing my best and the enemy takes the flag again just as I come up and again I managed to mini Uzi him and this is going to be my third capture out of five and uh, I am actually uh, going to go off topic again and say that I am doing something different with this video um, I am I did a flash version of my intro and I'm recording this in Vegas and we'll put it back into uh, After Effects and then produce a flash version of this video again because, oh, see, there you go, painkiller. Can't believe I died four times in a row, or three, or whatever. But anyway, uh, I had heard that uh, YouTube, um, the quality of the YouTube video was best when you imported as a flash video so we are going to test that and here we go I'm going to go for the flag again and I see this guy and I see that our stealth bomber and I know I just have to last a couple seconds and get another flag and here we go unfortunately I don't have lightweight on so am I going to make it? It's going to be close and can he do it? Can he do it? Can he do it? No. So 10 and 7 uh, with 3 captures, not a bad game at all.